let's do a day in the life. I've got to get up in the morning. I got to go to work. What do you want me to wear since this is a fashion segment? I'd rather you do 10 minutes of shower stretching before you get up and get going, okay. loosen up the body, and go through a top to bottom, neck, shoulders, low back, hamstrings. Loosen tabs, everything up. Loosen you up. Okay. You know, you've been lying in bed for seven, eight hours. Get prepared. All right. Right? For the stresses of your day. All right. And then what? We get dressed, and I'm going to put one on my feet. You want us to wear running shoes? I think that a, a woman can still get away with a, you know, a one, one and a half inch heel. Yeah, okay. For sure. All right. I think, though, that uh, you're still going to evolve and change your calf muscles. They're still going to shorten and tighten. And women love the way it looks. They yes. love the style. Men do, too. Men do, too. Yes. You know, who's going to deny that? that? Right. It's just what you're trying to do is when you have the opportunity to go for a long walk, mm -hmm. if you're walking to work, I love the idea of wearing a, an athletic or a walking type shoe. Mm -hmm. Love it. Mm -hmm. Why put on the three and a half inch heels? Mm -hmm. You don't okay. have to. But at the same time, by putting the ankle up or the heel up three or four inches off the ground, we cause the calf muscles to get tight, the back of the leg muscles to get tight, called the hamstrings. We stop the blood flow going to our legs. That affects our veins. That's not pretty. Oh, no, that's not, because that catches up with you later. Later, for yes. sure, yeah, and yeah. sometimes sooner than you think. Yeah. Then at the same time, even though it makes us push our knees back and our bums back that look really good, what it does is it causes our low back to sway. And a sway back means disc and joint compression. So that means wear and tear. Okay, some other faults with fashion with Dr. Chris Oswald. Large shoulder bags. You know, the bigger the bag, Chris, the more stuff we put in it. And that's why the neck hurts and the shoulder hurts. And that's where you're going with this. Something happens when we get out of public school. We stop wearing a backpack correctly. We hang it on one shoulder. Right. And then as we get older, we start to wear the cross shoulder bags because they're much cooler. They don't remind us of our youth, maybe. <laughs> maybe. But at the same time, we're putting in sometimes more than 10% of our body weight. You've got a few water bottles. You've got, sure. your, you've got your gear. You've got your change of clothes. You've got your high-heeled shoes. You have your life in that bag. You've got bag. your life, your yoga mats. Right. I mean, this puts a lot of compressive loading on your joint system. Okay, BlackBerry. Now, this affects not only women, but men. We call it the BlackBerry pose. And as we get older, the BlackBerry pose becomes a little more accentuated because our eyesight changes. So we actually hold the BlackBerry down low, yeah. arm extended, right. out in front of our bodies, mm -hmm. our heads down, slightly cocked to the side. And what that's doing is causing a tremendous amount of stress and strain on the neck muscles and shoulder muscles to hold the head up. So you get a lot of muscle tension headaches evolving. Okay, you get a lot of compression from. of those lower neck nerves so your arms start to go numb and tingly. How many times have you been writing a little note on a BlackBerry that turns into a half an hour gig and all of a sudden you can't feel your fingertips? Yeah, that happens to a lot of people, doesn't right. it? Yeah. Easy suggestion, just hold the BlackBerry up a little bit higher okay. in front of your face so you're maybe not tilting the head down to that same degree. Yeah. Minimize the shoulder, neck, arm nerve stress. You know, it's really interesting. We're talking about high heels. We're talking about big shoulder pads. We're talking about blackberries. The majority of us like to go and work out, but we're counteracting all this the good work we're doing Absolutely. by how we're just living our lives. Absolutely. And in and, and the computer world that we're all in right yeah. now, all day, every day on a computer, it's really, I think, defined as it's static muscle loading. Muscles and your body are meant to move. Mm -hmm. You've got to move stress off of certain areas because if you don't, it just starts to accrue or accumulate. Just remember, when you wake up tomorrow morning and yeah. you choose a pair of shoes or a shoulder bag or how to talk on your BlackBerry, you're making an investment in your body's health for the future. There you go. You've managed to bring chiropractic into fashion. <laughs> Thanks, That's Marilyn. for sure. Dr. Chris Oswald.